All right, so back at it. Um, so there's a recent study just being released by the news, and I'm going to go ahead and share the screen with you guys. Uh, here it is. It is by a local news channel. It's an action news channel five, wherever this may be. Anyways, lighting, putting or shedding some new light on COVID-19. And um, this is probably going to not even reach anybody with the YouTube algorithms and the word COVID. However, new study sheds light on weight loss and its impact on COVID-19. Now, this is very interesting in a few different ways. And we're going to go through the, the like what I'm talking about here um, in this short video. So first off, we all know that the people who are suffering the most uh, from the um, COVID-19 effects are those who are overweight, obese, who have type 2 diabetes, who generally lack physical activity, don't get out in the sun, lack low vitamin D levels. Um, and, and low vitamin D levels just linked with you know a, a poor, unhealthy lifestyle people who don't walk around a lot, people who sit down uh, the majority of the time, and, um, and even people who wear masks because they're breathing in their own bacteria that's been sitting there in the mask and, um, and with the heat and moisture, and that's how things cultivate in, in um, petri dishes, right? That's how we grow bacteria. And so it's sitting there in your mask and you're not putting it on properly, you're not changing it all the time, your touches your skin, touches, your chin, put it back up on your mouth. You know, there's just a lot of bad um, protocols out there for health. Um, but I do think it's interesting that all of a sudden, this is like what, like it feels like five years, but it's like two years into this. Now they're saying, oh, hey, um, being obese is bad. And <laughs> you'll actually be better off if you are losing some weight uh, and exercising, going to the gym. because they they don't necessarily verbatim say going to the gym right but look at the picture if, if you're not if you're just listening on anchor um or on my podcast it, it shows a picture of guys on some um a, some cardio equipment in the gym so um uh, that's telling us to go to the gym so if an average um citizen just looks at that they say oh look they're at the gym that's where we need to go we need to go sign up for a gym membership and I think it's funny that it's around New Year's resolution uh, time as well. So it's usually whenever gym memberships and weight loss supplements um, profit the most, right? You see large uh, um, gains from that. So, um, but yeah, you can read the, the article if you want to. Oh, that's like other stuff about child rape arrest. Okay, so pretty much the gist of it is start losing body fat, right? Now, the more body fat you have, again, the worse your health markers are gonna be. So why I think this is uh, um, like funny in a, in a sense, like not haha -ha funny, but uh, concerning is the fact that other, other countries or other parts of the world, uh, they are actually still mandating shutting down gyms or reducing hours of gyms or mask in gyms and um, things that really don't help with your health, okay? What, whether that be your physical and or mental health. So there's a, a guy who's really well known in the fitness industry and he owns a gym. His name is Ron Partlow. He is a bodybuilder, professional bodybuilder. And uh, he had a YouTube video. I'll link in my video that uh, it's like six minutes long, seven minutes long. But he goes into kind of what's, what's been his experience during this whole COVID-19 situation. And um, it's interesting because this has had, oh, let's see how many, I don't even know how many views so far. This is um, just on this one, I think it's had 2000 views on the Think Big Bodybuilding Media, but there's other sources that show the same video and there's thousands and thousands of views and shares and such, right? So you saw, our, I already watched it, I gave it a like. Um, I've shared it and um, he, he definitely goes into how they are um, doing, doing what they're told 
to do. Um, and that the statistics show that those people who go to the gym are less likely to get, uh, get sick. And that gyms actually have an infection rate uh, that's very, very low and uh, below even what other companies have, right? So it's like other, um, uh, like other industries. So for example, like the grocery store, um, everyone's packed in the grocery store. I'm sure you can uh, get infected or cross contamination, whether it be COVID or the flu or cold, I mean, anything, right? So you're more likely to get sick at those places because you're just touching people very close, proxim close proximity. Um, and then at that time, with the amount of traffic through that area, the cleaning protocol that they set that is supposed to be great, um, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have any validity anymore because there's been so much traffic through there and so much uh, contamination, right? Of of any type of bacteria, disease, or viral disease, it um, it doesn't it, so it doesn't really matter which one we're talking about and it's not fair that they get to stay open. It's not fair that uh, uh, the, um, the sporting events get to be packed and full and sold with full um, uh, uh, seating, right? So it's like you have hundreds of thousands of people, tens of thousands of people going to concerts, going to sporting events, no masking. I mean, you're sitting on bleachers side by side the closest proximity ever of like an inch, right? Maybe a centimeter, maybe you're even touching each other, spitting on each other, eating the same, like from the same popcorn um, and the movie theaters, right? So it's, it doesn't make any sense that these people that are profiting um, these companies and yet gyms are still suffering. And that's the one uh, way that we protect ourselves from being sick from any type of uh, virus and any type of bacteria, right? We try to build the immune system that way. We do build it through contacting certain bacteria. We build it through having viruses. That's how we are able to adapt and survive. And that's why you see coronavirus getting less and less severe, but maybe it's more highly transmittable, but that's just the way viruses work. Uh, you don't wanna have something that wipes out a whole um, species because then you have nothing to live off of, right? Viruses need someone, they need a host and they need to live off of something. So why would why would something so intelligent that's able to to uh, morph itself into something that, that uh, that's new that our body can't even recognize, why would it want to just eradicate all of its uh, host? So then it ceases to exist. So it literally makes zero sense. And so it only comes back to the conspiracy of what everyone is, has already been talking about. So I just uh, think that it's uh, this is an opportunity to maybe uh, let uh, voices be heard in the fitness industry and uh, that government should hear this. And I know that so I live in Florida and it's pretty relaxed over here the majority of the time. Uh, I do work for a company that is still un unable to to understand uh, masking, um, like how useless it is, and they think they're doing something great, but um, you know, it's uh, it is what it is, I guess. You know, um, got to make money somehow. Um, but uh, there's people that are suffering. There's gyms that are suffering still from this, and yet you have news, local news channels that are very liberal. And they're putting out information saying exercise and they're using pictures and videos of going to gyms, not even like the home workout anymore, right? Not even outside uh, running up stadiums or running around doing pushups in the grass. They're literally using gyms. And so there are certain gyms that are profiting very, very well, but there's others in other countries and such that are just not profiting. And in America, we should be grateful for that. But I think we still have to do our due diligence and share this to other people. So I'm a very small channel. Um, I know I don't get any views, but maybe this is something that you should be able to share and help others recognize this and go watch the Ron Partlow video. Again, I'll throw it back up on the screen. And hopefully I remember to uh, put this in the show notes, right? There we go. I'll copy that. And you can link that to whatever um, social media that you use and share it to all of your friends and let them watch it, and like it and share it. And hopefully we can see a bigger impact on people's health and also get back to normal life. Um, 
that's really what we want. We don't want to have all these uh, rules that are mandated and taking away freedoms and just allow, just allow us to live life and run businesses and be healthy and happy. And the government should just stick their hands in their own job of just governing the people. And that's it, not mandating the people. I'm leaving it there. Please share, like, subscribe. There's like a little notification on there, like a little bell, ring the bell. So you can get all my videos and you can listen to me ramble and hopefully you do this, right? Um, uh, your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you guys and I'll talk to you later.